man, you know, we're living in some, like, like we all know, man, we're coming in some times, man, that at any minute it can pop off, man. Any minute war can break out, man. That's how, that's how uh, detrimental this, these, these, uh, these epistles, these, these, these warnings are to y'all, man. You know, it can either, it's either going to lead you to the truth, to the life, or it's going to destroy you, man. You know? If you, if you, if you forsake these pistols, man, these sayings, it's detrimental to your life, man. One second, find this one strip. See. This is Habakkuk chapter two, verse fifteen. It says, It says, Woe unto them that giveth his neighbor drink, that puttest thy bottle to him. And makest him drunken also, that thou mayest look on their nakedness. Thou art filled with shame for glory. Right, so y'all gonna be filled with shame. Y'all gonna be filled. Thou, thou art filled with shame for glory, man. Alright? That's what's happening. That's what's gonna happen, man. It says, Drink thou also, and let thy foreskin be uncovered. The cup of the Lord's right hand shall be turned unto thee, and shameful spewings shall be on thy glory, man. Right, America's gonna be destroyed, man. Everything that Esau loved, everything that he was, he thought he was about to uh, conceive, reap the benefits, it's all gonna be pushed away, man. He's not gonna reach, he's not gonna reach that, man. He's not gonna reach to the point of his new world order, man. All right, that's gonna be cut at, uh, put at a halt real quick when when the time of Yahweh Shai is returning, man. All right, but the point is, is that their whole, sh their whole glory is gonna be turned into shame. This is Habakkuk 2 and 16. Thou art filled with shame for glory. Drink thou also, and let thy foreskin be uncovered. The cup of the Lord's right hand shall be turned unto thee, and shameful spewing shall be on thy glory. Right, and how is he going to do that shameful spewing on his on the glory, man? On America. It's with those ICBM missiles. All right, thermonuclear destruction, man. That's what's coming, man. The third world's war, man. You know, it speaks about it in the book of Revelations. How, uh... That certain things are not going to be heard in Babylon, right? This is Revelations chapter 18. I'm going to jump around in the scriptures just to prove some points. Uh, Revelations 18 and 8. Therefore shall her plagues come in one day, death and mourning and famine, and, shall, and she shall be utterly burned with fire, for strong is the Lord's power who judgeth her. Man. So it's the Lord's doing how about Shem Yahweh Shai's doings? It has nothing to do with uh, uh, us on the uh, how it was in the hedges, man. All we're doing is we're ushering, we're ushering the return of Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai, and we're we're, fish, we're uh, being fishers of men trying to draw in the elect, man. That's it, man. Being witnesses, bearing the uh, testimony of Yahweh Shai, man. You know, but it's the Lord that's one that's orchestrating all this thing, man. He's the master master chess player, man. You know. Scriptures say that his eyes are uh, his, his eyes are above the the upon the wicked uh, sinful kingdom, that the word the eyes of the Lord are upon the sinful kingdom, man. And who's that sinful kingdom right now? It's America, man. And the UN, the the, the NATO, everything that they're doing, man. It's it's it's, it's uh, they're stirring up strife, man. They're stirring up things, but it's all through the spirit of the Lord, man. Russia, Iran, all of them are going to it's about to war about to pop off, man. The third world's war, man. All right. It says, Revelation 18 and 9, And the kings of the earth who have committed fornication and lived deliciously with her shall beware her and lament for her when they shall see the smoke of her burning. Right. So the glory is going to be changed into shame, man. All right. It's going to be changed into shame and, 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 and cast it away, man. And forgotten forevermore, man. Standing afar off for the fear of her torment, Saying, Alas, Alas, that great city Babylon, that, mi that mighty city, for in one hour is thy judgment come. Right, that quick, that's how quick the Lord's going to destroy this place, man. This place is going to be 
a, a lake, a big lake of fire, man. In one hour, that's how quick the Lord is going to take this place out, man. With them ICBM missiles, 200 million missiles are going to annihilate this land, man. And that's only just, man, because this land, America, is being fought over. Just like over there in the land of Israel is being fought over. Everything's going to be wiped out, man. And when, when, when we're taken up in the chariots with the Most High, us, the brothers, man, Lord will, we're going to restore the earth to back to his refresh, refresh the earth, man. The water, we're going to put, uh, bring back the water to its natural state, pure water, man. Not where it's all contaminated with lead and uh, fluoride. We're going we're gonna to restore all things, man. The atmosphere, everything that we breathe is going to be restored, refreshed. The people are going to act right. The women are going to be in order. They're going to stop trying to buck up to men. Everything's going to be in its proper spot, man. Revelation 18 and 11. And the merchants of the earth shall weep and mourn over her, for no man shall buy it, their merchandise anymore. Why? Because this place is going to be destroyed, man. You know? The dollar the dollar about to collapse, man. The, the economy of, uh, of America, the economic uh, structure of America is, is done, man. You know? It's collapsing. You know? It says, uh, Revelations 18 and 12, it says, The merchandise of gold, silver, precious stones, and of pearls, fine linen, purple, silk, scarlet, and all thine, wood, uh, all, and all manner of vessels of ivory, and all manner of vessels of, of most precious wood, of brass, and iron, and marble, you know, so forth and so on. It says, uh, verse 14, And the fruits that thy soul lusteth after are departed from thee, and all things which were dainty and goodly are departed from thee, and thou shalt find them no more at all. Why, man? Because this place is going to be turned into a shameful a shame, man. Look through the ICBM missiles, man. The fire, man. That's what's coming, man. Okay. This is uh. Isaiah chapter 66 verse 15 it says for behold the Lord will come with fire and with his chariots like a whirlwind to render his, ang his anger with fury and his rebuke with flames of fire for by fire and by his sword will the Lord plead with all flesh and the slain of the Lord shall be many right and that's how the Lord is coming back man he's coming back with that flame of fire man the third world's war is what's going to ultimately be the catapult that's going to destroy this place, America, man, because of all its wickedness, okay? That's what's going to happen. That's what's going to happen, man. The, the, that's how the Lord is going to plead with all flesh, is that he's going to come back and they're going to try to fight against the Lord and it's up in the heavens, man. All right? Whenever uh, Russia whenever Russia comes over here and they, they annihilate this place, there's gonna, the... the, 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 the the, the war of Jehoshaphat is going to occur over there in Israel, man. And that's when the Lord is going to start doing, he's, he's going to be, he's doing things right now. Everything that's going on right now in America, that's all through the working of the Lord, man. The Lord say, the Lord say he created evil and good, man. He created evil for the day of judgment. And Esau, he, all Esau is just a whipping stick, man. That's all Esau is, just a whipping stick because uh, the Negro Latinos and Native American Indians, man, we went off. We disobeyed our Heavenly Father, man, our Creator. You know? Look at Edomite, man. That's a damn problem, man. Alright. Uh... But I'm going to jump down to Revelation 18 and well real quick I'm going to finish this one off in Isaiah 66 and and 16 for, for, for by fire and by his sword will the Lord plead with all flesh and the slain of the Lord shall be many all right so the slain of the Lord shall be many man all right and that's how the Lord is going to plead with all flesh man with fire man so that's plain, man. Let me get a, a, another script. 
know, it's like how Washai said, I said, I didn't, I didn't come to send peace on the earth, but a sword, man. All right, and that sword is, you know, the, the comfort of the Lord, the spirit. Also, is a, the, he's going to send that fire, man, the ICBM missiles, man. All right. Uh, this is Malachi chapter 4, verse 1. It says, For behold, the day cometh that shall burn as an oven. Right, so a day, a day is coming that, the, that, that shall burn as an oven, man. What is that, man? That's that third world's war, man. When the ICBM missiles are, 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 are shot out from the silo and, and, and they're, 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 they're let go upon the earth, man, it's going to be mass destruction. It's going to be very mass destruction, man. It's going to be mass destruction on the earth of America, on, on, on the earth, man. All right? It says, For behold, the day cometh that shall burn as an oven, and all the proud gay and all that do wickedly shall be stubble. And they're all going to be stubble, man. Like it's burned up, like you got a bunch of just dry grass and you throw a match, what happens? And it, 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 uh, it engulfs in flames, man. That's how the inhabitants of the earth are, man. They're uh, they're full of, uh, it's ready to be used for, for the field to the fire, man. And that's how this place is coming to. This place is coming into that, that state, man. You know, everything, all the tension, high tension is occurring in the earth. You know, that, that's, all, that's all through the spirit of the Lord, man. It's, it's beautiful, man. And that's, and that's exactly how it's going to be, man. Until the Most High returns and puts everything out, man. And He's going to restore us back into our true nationality, man. To our true, true, true power, man. We're going to reign again above all the nations. We're going to have these Edomites under our foot, man. We're going to be governors all over again. Just like we're under their foot. They oppressed us for, what, 400 years, man? Here in America, killing us. Killing our people, man. Hanging us, putting, the, taking pictures of our bodies up on trees, man. Malachi 4 and 1. For behold, the day cometh that shall burn as an oven, and all that are proud, yea, and all that do wickedly shall be stubble. And the day that cometh shall burn them up, saith the Lord of hosts, that it shall leave them neither root nor branch. They ain't gonna leave them neither root nor branch. I mean, they ain't gonna have no offspring, man. They're not gonna have no offspring left here, man. Because of everything that they've done, man. And it's only just the spirit of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. That, that, that is rectified, man. Because we need, we need, we need recompense, man. All right. We need, we need our power, man, our savior, man, which is Yahweh Shai, man. All right. This is uh, 2 Thessalonians chapter one verse six. Seeing it is a righteous thing with the most side to recompense tribulation to them that trouble you. So it's 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 only right that the Lord pays back those that hurt us, man. That put us through slavery. Oppressed, oppressed our, us, killed our children, you know, killed our forefathers, man, hung them on trees, burned them on while they're being hung, burned them alive, man. Esau has to go into captivity, man. Esau has to be paid back for everything he's done, man. And he, he is. The scriptures already tell us, man. You know? It says, and to who, and to you who are troubled, rest with us when the Lord Yahweh shall, shall be revealed from heaven with his mighty angels. All right, so that's why we're around here in the house of the angels. We're calling out, man. That's what the word church goes back to the Latin word Iglesias. Iglesias, it, it means to call out, man. You know, basically come forward, man. Come out. Come, come, come. And hear the word of the Lord and, and, and reside here, man. Rest. Find rest here, man. Because you're not going to find rest in this world, man. You're going to be uh, continually, continually vexed, oppressed. You're going to be... Uh, susceptible to alcoholism you know uh, addicted to drugs you know doing all forms of, uh, 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 of idolatry you know wickedness man so right here is where you can rest man that's what the Lord is trying to tell you it's all spiritual because no matter where you Jake go whether you go you move to Mexico Europe if you're all gonna you're all you're still gonna go through hell man it says and and uh, verse 8 2 Thessalonians 1 and 8. And flame and fire, taking vengeance on them that know not the Most High, and that obey not the gospel of our Lord Yahweh Shai Mashiach, who shall be punished with everlasting destruction from the presence of the Lord and from the glory of his power. Right? So again, that's self-explanatory, man. You know? That's who the Lord, the Lord is going to come back to recompense tribulation to those that have, have hurt us, man. 
that have heard Negro, Latinos, and Native American Indians, man. That's who the Lord is for, man. All right? And that's the word recompense. The word recompense means pay back. All right? And the Lord's going to pay Edomites back to y'all's face, man. All right? It says, Who shall be punished with everlasting destruction from the presence of the Lord and from the glory of His power, man. See, and that's the, the glory of his power, man, is that he's going to come with the, the thousands of thousands of angels from, from the heavens, man, the chariots, man. They're going to just come swarming in as a bird, as the birds form, the formation of birds, and he's going to annihilate this place, man, go to war. And Esau's going to actually try to fight against them, man. You see? Verse 10, And when he shall come to be glorified in his saints and to be admired in all them that believe, because our testimony among you was believed, in that day right so you know and that's where it's gonna uh simultaneously it's gonna occur where they're, the, these people are gonna be all like man he counted his life as madness how was he numbered amongst the saints you know and they're gonna be in great uh wellings and gnashing of teeth man you know they're gonna be in a horrific state looking real pitiful man because right now they think they're, pr they're they're real proud and they think they can get away with everything man you know but the lord tell, telling you man is that to the akia man you know, depart, man. You know, this, this is not our rest. You got to keep that in remembrance, man, and keep fighting off the flesh. Keep fighting, you know, these, these demonic spirits, man, and keep, keep looking forward towards that goal, man. Like, keep saying, which is Yahweh Shai, the kingdom, man. You know, we want to be, we want to be back with our our, 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 our shepherd, man, our big brother, man, our, our protector, man. You know, that no, nobody will be able to mess with this, man. Nobody's able to mess now, man. So but I'm just saying that that's the goal, man. It's to, it's to complete this thing, man. It's to endure to the end, you know, and to salvation, man. Lord will with the elect. If I'm the elect, keep pushing his word, and the Lord's going to uh, deliver me, man, you know. But uh, I guess I'm going to leave it with that, brothers. I want to say, uh, I'm going to give all praises and glory and honor to y'all by Shem Yahweh Shai. Double honors to the elders of Great Millstone. Much love and respect to you brothers out there doing the work of sincerity and truth. All right, much love to you brothers out there, man. Keep fighting, doing the work. All right, death to America, death to two-thirds, Nicolau, Latino, Native American Indians. Till next time, Shalom.